of a few things. Calming, different world. This is a whole other world I haven't explored. It's like inner space and it's right there. I don't mean to scare you about this too, but scuba diving has risks. There's decompression problems, which is when you swim too fast up to the surface and nitrogen bubbles form in your veins and then you have to be put in a decompression chamber and it's no joke. But since I'm here in Puerto Vallarta, I wanna accomplish something big this month. So I think I'll just do it. All right, I wanna get certified. What do I have to do? The only way to overcome your fear is to learn more about your fears. This is the training grounds. It's about 10 feet deep, 14 feet across. There's just enough room to submerge and practice breathing underwater. So. Here's the plan. I'll start by taking the exam, which by the way, I've been studying for all week. Then assuming I'll pass, we'll probably get geared up and get straight into the pool. There are different ways that you can study for this exam. Most people do it online where you watch videos for like five hours. I personally spend way too much time at my computer anyway, so I decided to do it the old school way. What are the biggest challenges most people have with the dive? What's the biggest issue you've come across on a dive? Have you ever had to be put in a decompression chamber? Have your sinuses been painful after a dive? You'll be okay. You'll do great. So I've just arrived at the training center for scuba diving training day one. Scuba diving training consists of taking a written exam and then we get into the pool, we do a pool session, and then next week we're doing four open water dives out there. All right, let's get it. If you've spent a lot of time in the water, then I think a lot of this, a lot of these questions would kind of just be common sense. I think the hardest part about this is just knowing all the technical stuff, what all the pieces of gear are, and a little bit of the mathematical stuff. Math was never my strong suit. Pass the test. Now we are going to do the first dive in the pool. When you're intimidated about something that's coming up that has to happen, that you have to do yourself, the best way to deal with the anxiety about it is to be distracted. It's a good thing that I have a whole weekend of activities planned. So I've been here in Puerto Vallarta for the last month, living and working remotely here with my boyfriend. This is our place. The weather's amazing every day. The ocean is right there. There are mountains behind us. So in terms of outdoor activities, there's a lot to do here. So today we're gonna head down to Boca de Tomatlan and go find this hiking trail that follows the coast. This hike is so awesome because it twists and turns just along the coast here, so the trail kind of like goes up and down. And even though the hike is really long, you don't have to finish the whole hike because you can stop at any beach along the way and the water taxis will come pick you up. diving into the ocean from the beach. Christian, 
So we're putting all of this equipment on and just walking into the beach, into the ocean. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to carry the tanks. Oh my God, really? This tank is like quarter of my weight, maybe, maybe half my weight. We're gonna suit up and then we're gonna walk into the ocean and do the first dive. All right, let's do it. So I just finished my first dive. It went okay, I think. The visibility is very poor out there. Like I can only see one to two feet in front of me. So I have to hold on to Christian the entire time. At this point, my biggest concern is I'm not even afraid of the creatures in the ocean anymore. I'm kind of just nervous about not being able to see and also not being able to breathe through my nose, I guess. I think the most challenging part is having to really learn how to like constantly breathe through your mouth. And sometimes I feel like I can't take like, <sighs> deep breaths through my, through my mouth. So because the visibility is so low, it's like extremely disorienting that sometimes I don't even realize I'm going up or down. I, it's like I'm lost in a three dimensional space. I did have a little bit of a freak out moment because there's this drill that you have to do where you have to take off your entire mask, you're breathing through your mouth and then you have to like put your mask back on just in case your mask gets like kicked off or something and you have to like grab your mask and put it back on. The moment I removed my mask, I started breathing through my nose so I freaking got all this salt water in my nose while I'm like 30 feet down there. So I kind of started freaking out just a tiny bit because I was like, <laughs> and I like breathed water through my nose but I'm like still breathing through my mouth trying to put my mask on, clear all the water, but I couldn't do it. So I just like signaled to start going up because I was really starting to freak out. <laughs> I'm a little nervous to go back in, but I'm gonna do it. We're gonna get certified this week. We're gonna do it. <laughs> Last open water dive, number four, let's do it. We just finished our fourth dive. I definitely finally got the hang of it after the fourth dive. Now I understand why Patty requires four dives because first dive, mm, not so great. Still pretty kind of scary, uncomfortable, especially in these conditions. The visibility is just, I was just trying to hold on to Christian the whole time, but we're good now. So Professor Christian, what do you think? How'd I do? You did good. You're certified. <laughs> Great! <laughs> awesome job! <laughs> I'm so glad I finally got to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and now I get to explore the underwater world. I've learned a new skill. I also feel like I've become a part of this new community of scuba divers and I'm really excited to explore clear and calm waters next time. If you've ever considered scuba diving, I recommend just going out and doing it. You will regret it. If you're heading to Puerto Vallarta, I can also put you in touch with my instructor, Christian. He's an awesome teacher. He's very patient. He's someone that you can trust immediately. He can be your friend. I mean, that's all super important. You definitely need someone you can trust. Christian's information is in the description down below if you're interested. And make sure to follow his Instagram at deep blue pv to get a little bit of inspiration of that underwater discovery inspiration thank you for watching everyone and until next time 